Creating a Google site is easy and free to do from your iSpartan account. You can either click on Sites and then Create in New Sites to build a brand new Google site, or you can do so from your iSpartan Google Drive. There, you would click New, and then More, and then Google Site. The first thing you should probably do is create a title for your site. This will display on most of the pages that you have. Next, you'll want to pick a theme that works for your site. You can make small adjustments, like the overall color scheme and the font style for most themes available in Google Sites. If at this or any other point you would like to preview your site, you can do so by clicking the Preview button and seeing how it would look on desktop, tablet, or a phone. Depending on how you work, you may want to start adding content to your site. However, it might be more beneficial to first set up the structure of your site if you know what it's going to be. This occurs under the Pages tab. You can see that currently there's only the home page. However, we can use the plus symbol at the bottom to create new pages and subpages within those. To create subpages, simply drag the page you want to underneath another top level page. A triangle will appear next to the page and show how those two pages are now sub pages of the top level page. To the left, you will see a drop down arrow next to that item. Hovering over it opens up the submenu. Now that we have our structure, let's begin editing the content on our home page. Let's start by editing the header. Simply click on the title box, or any other text box on Google Sites for that matter, to begin editing the text. You can change the text, or select other options to change how it appears. You can also change the image used behind the banner, as well as what the banner should look like. There are several different subtypes, and you can select the one that best works for that page. Now that we have a basic home page, we're going to start inserting elements below the banner. Going to the Insert panel on the right, you see that you can add things like text boxes, images, you can embed other elements, you can insert things from Google Drive, and you can change the overall layout for the body content section of your page. Below that are more specialized options to add tables of contents, image carousels, buttons, dividers, and easy embed codes for YouTube and Google Calendars, Maps, and Docs. If you click an element, it will just insert it right below whatever the last element was. However, all these elements can be dragged around and reoriented to take up less space or more space. You can use the grid that appears when editing an element to get a rough idea of how to lay it out. When you click on an element on the page, I encourage you to explore the menu that pops up to see the range of things that you can manipulate. For most things, you can add links. You can use the insert link function to either find another page within your Google site that you'd like to link to, or you can type in another web address. If you would ever like to delete an item, simply click the delete tile trash icon from that item's menu. If you deleted something by accident, you can always click undo at the top of the page. You can duplicate sections of your site and edit them, and even customize them with things like different colored backgrounds, in order to make your site visually appealing as someone reads from top to bottom. You can also drag sections around in order to rearrange them on the page. When your site's all finished, click Publish at the top to make it accessible to others. You can define a specific web address to appear at the end of the standard sites.google.com slash uncg.edu URL. You can also manage who can view your site. Once you're done, you can click Publish. Now others will be able to find your work online. You can edit the settings and privacy of your site by going to Publish, Publish Settings at the top. You can also see what your final site looks like by going to View Published Site. Finally, if you want to take your site down, you can click Unpublish to remove it from its published status. Transferring ownership of the site after you leave UNCG is a little tricky. First, share the site with another Google account that you want to have ownership over the site. Since this new account will be outside of UNCG, you'll not be able to make that account the owner 
of this particular site. However, in that other Google account, they can find the shared site and make a copy to their own personal Google Drive. That way, they will have ownership over a complete copy of the Google site. Should you need help with a Google site or any other type of website or e-portfolio, I encourage you to schedule a consultation in the Digital Act Studio. Happy building.